Hi there, welcome to this uh, Sage 200 uh, guide related to uh, Sage 200 newly installed and nothing printing. Um, basically, um, after installation, um, some people get a common problem where they believe that it's not printing anything, uh, based, or if they've uh, recently upgraded or had a new client installed onto the PC. Um, on all current um, and previous versions, had this issue when first set up. Uh, on the current version, the Sage 200 2015, the problem is that the default for your user's printing options, um, then what it is, it's set by default um, to go to the print spooler. Okay, so I'm going to run the Age Debtors Summary Report in my test company and show you where you can, where you can access the print spooler. Okay, so here's my software with it uh, preloaded up. So I'm just going to run, say, the uh, report sales ledger reports, credit control, uh, it's just the age data summary, I'll just expand that so you can see there. So I'm going to run the summary one. And I'll just select the default options that appear and just click OK. Okay, so the report runs through and it appears that the report hasn't done anything. What it actually is is that it's gone to the print spooler. So the print spooler is accessible by clicking on the icon at the top right of the screen. Okay, and there's my report that I've just run, the sales ledger age data report summary. Okay, um, so in order to do anything with that, so I've got options there basically where I can either click view, print, email, etc. Or I can double click the spool file, which does the same thing. So I'll just double click it and just preview it. So there's my report now. So from here I can then choose to print it, email it, etc, etc. I'm just going to close that option off now. Uh, and close the print spooler. Okay, the selection for where that is set is found under the little cog wheel, which is in the tools menu. If I click the cog, you can see there it just says tools. So I click tools, uh, and then it is set in the choose output mode. Okay, this is set individually per user um, as the as the software is installed. So I'm saying each PC, once you will have to go into this per user. So we're going to choose output mode. And you can see mine set to spooler there. So the other options I have for this is preview, which is my preferred option, um, or printer. So printer just prints direct to a printer. I wouldn't recommend that because you can get sort of problems or maybe that your spool file um, isn't give, hasn't got the correct data and if you've set it to print straight away you don't get a chance to preview it first to see if it's like 300 pages long obviously it's not going to be one you're probably going to want to print unless it's for year end audit purposes something like that. Um, equally if you set it to spooler then all spool files will remain in the print spooler until you delete them off so you can individually set reports once you've run them to spool from the preview menu um, if you wanted to save them so like if you've done a month-end report that you did want to retain for your audit purposes etc then you can send that to the spooler so it's accessible later uh, but I wouldn't recommend all reports going to the print spooler because otherwise it can quite quickly fill up and it also makes it harder for you to find your reports that you're running um, so if I go to preview instead and I'll click OK I'll just run that same report again so it's just age data summary And I'll just click OK. And you can see now that the report comes up straight away onto screen. OK, so basically it's just more accessible. I can see it there. Um, I'll just maximise my screen. Um, you can see that this is nine pages long, this report. So it's like, right, is it? Yep, this is the report I was after. It wasn't. I didn't want like a detailed one, which is then going to be maybe 30 pages or something. So that's the correct report. So you can just sort of validate it from the preview screen. Okay. If I then did want to save this file, I've still got the option, so I can still spool it there. So I can click spool, which will then send it to the print spooler anyway. Um, or I can print, email, export, etc, etc. I'm not going to bother doing anything further on there. But that's basically the settings for your printer. So what you, how you print from Sage 200. And it's specified to say under the cog with the choose output mode. So I say printer preview or spooler. Default is spooler on to say 2015 but preview would be more my recommended option okay once you've set that say that's that then concluded pretty much for people of say 2015 on earlier versions of the software I don't have access to these but the same choose output op mode option was available but it was on the top left menu under file choose output mode okay Sage, the early versions of Sage 200 were actually a little bit worse than the current one because they didn't have any print preview options set or anything. So what happened was you ran a report and it just disappeared off into the ether until you'd set in this set this file, choose output mode option in there. Okay, this concludes this video. Uh, hopefully it's been helpful for you.
Thank you very much for your time.